That's it, all right. Well, I guess we're going in. Good evening, Sheriff. I'm here to take you to the boss. Thanks, by the way, for leaving off Tiny. Tiny Tim. I have to admit, when they asked me to watch the door, I wasn't sure what to expect when you came through that portal. Hold on. You've just been waiting for me to show up? You knew I was hmm. coming? That's what they told me. I don't know, they said you made it pretty clear. I'm supposed to bring you right on in, so if you'll come this way. Look, this is the one thing I have to do. All right, let's get this over with. Come on. That's all I want, Sheriff. <laughs> it's a tarp. That's all I can think of right now. Thanks for understanding. This is all I'm here to do, and I don't want to mess it up. <laughs> I know I'm probably the last person you'd expect to be a guard, or an escort for that matter. I was a little surprised myself when they asked me to do it. I get it. You have a job to do. But you gotta ask yourself if you want to be involved with this guy. Whatever you may think of him, he doesn't treat me like some broken little kid. I think he gets what it's like. He gave me a job! And I'm lucky to have it. This is the only option I've got. Just keep that in mind, maybe? Because if you and the boss go up against each other, the rest of Fable Town is going to get caught in the middle. I can find the door myself. You should just get the hell out of here. Things are going to get ugly in a minute. Leave? I told you, I have to do this. Hey, you've been warned. Stick around, and you're a part of this, just like anyone else. A lot of us depend on him. Some of us never get to the front of the line at the business office. But he's there. We need you, but we need him too. What we don't need is a war. Hey, Sheriff, hold up. I gotta go in with you. I don't have time for this. God bless us, everyone. Am I some kind of a fucking joke to you? What did I tell you, eh? Stop laughing at me. Oh, yeah? Mate, I ain't some fucking... Bloody hell! This fucking guy! Hello, boys. I was wondering when you'd turn up. You know, Tim would have been happy to have let you in. I'm so sorry, sir. He wouldn't it's wait. It's all right, Tim. I shouldn't have expected the sheriff to give you respect enough to do your job. But you did fine. You can go now. You see, everyone in Fable Town has a role to fill. You just have to pay attention to what they need to help them find it. This is probably going to end badly for me. Why don't you have a seat, Sheriff? We have a great deal to discuss. All right, you got me here. Let's talk. <laughs> I've heard stories about you. In the old days, how you picked off those men one by one. Oh, how they screamed. The wolf is coming. And they would wait. 
hiding anywhere they could squeeze their pathetic, shivering corpses. Some would just drop to their knees where they stood, close their eyes, and wait for death. And you'd give it to them. <laughs> I wish I could have seen it. <sighs> oh well. Well, there we go. That's the end of uh, episode four. In sheep's clothing. Wow, that was uh, that was pretty good. I enjoyed that. Okay, so let's take a look at the uh, the player choices. Th only thirty nine percent of players decided Colin should not go to the farm. You mean people? You mean mean people? Why would you send Colin to the farm? Um, okay, so sixty one and a half percent of players did not try to remove Nerissa's ribbon. So that's that's pretty f good. Wow, 50-50 on where to investigate first. Uh, almost 50% uh, Toad should not go to the farm, so that was pretty cool. And only 20% of players agreed to talk with him. That's surprising. But with uh, with four options, I suppose 20%, 25% would probably been pretty good. Well, there we go. So, there's going to be a ne another one. Uh, guarantee when that one's out, I shall record that one and we'll play that one through as well. I love this game. I love this story. It's so good. Thanks very much for watching, peeps. I'll see you next time. <laughs>